Hi, it's Dr. Noel Williams, Optimal Health Associates. I had uh, several questions about vaccines and to do the flu vaccine or to not do the flu vaccine. So I'm gonna go over some simple concepts with this, which I did years ago with COVID, but it's important to understand why the flu vaccine is totally meaningless, especially to do it repetitively. The first part is the data on the flu vaccine shows that it doesn't work. If you will actually go to PubMed and put in flu vaccine effectiveness, Cochrane, C-O-C-H-R-A-N-E review, you will see that it takes 330 vaccines to prevent potentially one cough cold congestion and 760 roughly to prevent one true flu vaccine or flu infection, pardon me, which then requires you to have at least 50 to 100 people with flu before you get a hospitalization. So then we're at like 70,000, and then we need at least 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 of those people to prevent one death. So we're starting to get into the range of a million vaccines to prevent one death. It's meaningless in terms of outcome. But let's talk about repetitiveness. Why would you ever do a repetitive vaccine for a a virus that changes. And uh, a guy named Thomas, I think it was Francis Thomas, or Thomas Francis, sorry, uh, Dr. Thomas Francis in 1960 wrote a paper and, and discussed this. He was a virologist and he named it original antigenic sin. So original antigenic sin is your first exposure to a virus or your first vaccine. And so once you have that first exposure, that sets your immune system up for the rest of your life, because original sin is what we're born with. So your original exposure, if you're a biblical person, um, your original exposure gives you your, anti your antibodies, what they're gonna target for that virus. So as you get more exposures, there's something called antigenic laziness, or excuse me, not antigenic, antibody laziness from your immune system, where yeah, you get a new version of the flu and you're, body's basically going to be like, I don't really want to deal with this. I'm just going to make the old antibodies I made. I may make a few new ones, but really I'm not going to do much to fight this virus or re-stimulate my immune response. And so as you do more and more and more of these, you are going to get less and less immune response and dumb down your immune system, his system which is also caused, called Hoskins hypothesis. So this is very, very well described starting in the 1960s and that doing repetitive flu vaccines were not going to be helpful and they were going to be destructive and they were gonna dumb down your immune system and you're gonna get the flu more, which is what actually happens when you look at double-blind and randomized controlled trials because the last one done anywhere in the world with a randomized control flu vaccine trial showed a 45% increase and that was in Europe in getting the flu if you got the vaccine. So for me, there's no purpose in getting a flu vaccine. There's no pur purpose in getting a vaccine where there's repetitively, where there's mutagenicity, where there's change because you're not gonna respond well with the second vaccine. That's the science of virology. Why we suddenly forgot this uh, when it was documented, you know, in 1960s beyond me. Why, when they were writing the original COVID vaccine papers about how we have to do this, one of the central tenets in March of 20 was we were not going to repetitively vaccinate people because we, we would destroy the effectiveness of the virus or the, the vaccine, but yet they did. So that's the, the story on that. And it's the truth, it's the science. So everyone who's promoting, oh, keep on doing flu vaccines. No scientific backing. There's just an AI review of what's the single best thing you can do for the flu. Is it getting a flu vaccine? Did the AI program decide? No, it was take vitamin D. It's gonna lower your risk for getting sick from the flu, duh. What's the thing that makes you less likely to get sick if you ever got measles? It's higher doses of vitamin D, more higher levels of vitamin D. There's a direct correlate with most viruses that you're gonna get sicker, COVID, measles, flu, with low vitamin D levels. Let's do the basics. And the AI program also said, you know, and if you're doing vitamin D, you're gonna get other benefits. Cheap, easy, no risk. Why not do that instead of do something silly like a flu vaccine? But that's my opinion. 
And again, I base it on science and the best literature that's available. Uh, that's my summary, and that's it. Take care. Bye.